And I think it's best to start with the blue hair girl or the chronic Twitter user, whatever you want to call them. This is somebody you never want to become. You could say a singular word or phrase and it will somehow get under their skin. Yo, what do you think about that new Yeet? Yeah, bro, that shit's fire. Like Yeet's actually my favorite artist for real. Yo, like get off his meat, bro. The meat riding is crazy. Um, excuse me. Are you saying that he can't be gay? Uh, no, I'm just making a joke. It's not that deep. I think you're insinuating that this man cannot be gay. Yo, like shut up. He literally just said the meat riding is crazy. That's it. He's not that deep. Um, you two are very homophobic. I'm going to tell my authorities on Twitter. Her authorities? What? This girl genuinely thinks she rules Twitter, all right? And she takes that with her in real life. Even if the, the scenario is not that deep, she will still get mad over it because why? Well, she wants to find a problem. Like there's really terrible people out there, yet they choose to cancel Mr. Beast for giving out money. That That is insane. It just makes no sense. They really be indulgent in cancel culture. Watch, bro. There's going to be a Twitter thread out there trying to cancel me after this video drops. They're on to me, bro. They're after me. The Sigma male. And now this dude idolizes Patrick Bateman and Andrew Tate like they're the next coming of Christ. He watches one Andrew Tate short on TikTok. He's gone, bro. There's no saving him. Like this guy's going to now want a Bugatti. He's going to shave his head bald and wear sunglasses 24-7. Even when it's dark out, he's still got them John strapped. And of course, he's got that sparkling water on him. He's going to need his fix of sparkling water like a vape fiend, bro. Yo, bro, do you want some water? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, bro. All right, bro, here's your water. What happened? Where where's my sparkling water? Um, I actually don't have sparkling water. What in the brokey is this? Like, are you afraid of bubbles? Huh? Huh? Like, what the fuck? Get out of my house right now. And I don't care what your opinions are on this dude. I mean, all I know is he looks like an egg. Like, I could care less. But some people are so obsessed with him. It's just so weird, bro. Like, hop off his meat. God damn. And same with Patrick Bateman. I see people just walking down the hallway, like, in the exact same pose. Bro, you are not him. Just stop now we gotta talk about the tiktoker this is the person that will never get off tiktok i mean me personally i think tiktok is buns all right like i'm just gonna say i think it's good for promoting your content but i'm not using the app casually i bet a lot of you can relate to this there's always that one dude that has all of his humor from TikTok videos that he watches. Just nothing else. His humor is literally the embodiment of TikTok. Either that or you just see him hitting a little TikTok dance in the bathroom. Like I've walked in on somebody doing a TikTok dance before. It was the most awkward thing of all time. Yeah, never again. But there's also people who literally just scroll on TikTok in the hallway, at the function, or just while they're doing their daily activities. Bro, if you eat, sleep, and breathe TikTok, you are not living life, my boy. Like. What are you doing? Like the entire point of doing things is to be there present in the moment. Like if I wasn't doing this for a job, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'd barely ever be on social media. And this next one pops up a lot on TikTok, of course. The oh E-girl and the oh, E-boy. Now by all means, I really don't care how a person dresses, right? But if you make videos of yourself like this, I'm gonna make fun of you, bro. That's just how it is. These E-girls and E-boys, bro, they live for the internet. Like they don't have a life outside, bro. They literally just be sitting on discord 24 7 and they join like dating servers and shit to find dates that's kind of crazy to me dating on discord is kind of wild bro i'm not gonna lie if you're e-dating someone right like you never plan on seeing them in real life like you just strictly talk over discord if your power cuts out your relationship's over like there genuinely is no point if you have no plans on meeting this person irl dog there's no human contact that is literally the most important thing in a relationship if that element is missing bro then what kind of relationship is it i don't know like this guy could be telling you oh yeah man i got a million dollars i got five supercars i live in a mansion like he could be telling you all this but in reality he posted up in his mom's basement and you'll never find out if you meet him so you're technically just wasting your time and that brings me to my next one the capper this dude will tell an entirely fake story on the internet like he'll just pull it out of his ass make it up and he'll just tell everybody that he is him like he works at Hemi John's, but in reality, bro is struggling heavily. He'll say some shit like, nah, bro, you a lightweight. I could beat your ass up in real life. Oh, really? Then let's test it. You meet him in real life, and yeah, things are definitely not looking in his favor. What is the point of that? Like, if you're just insecure about yourself, bro, like, it's better off to just embrace it rather than lie about it, because then, like, if you end up meeting the person, what are you gonna do now? You're screwed. Now, 
we gotta talk about the hacker or the dark web guy, whatever you wanna call this dude. Now this guy lives on the dark web, all right? Like he claims he is a god tier level master hacker. He claims he is on that level. But in reality, he can't do anything. Like one time this dude tried to hack like my old YouTube channel, right? Like this dude was like, bro, your channel's gonna be gone in two days. Mark my words. Now I didn't know what this kid looked like or what he was capable of, so I was pretty scared. Until I got on a call with him and this dude turned his webcam on and then I literally just started bursting out laughing. And then this dude threatened me. He's like, delete all your videos or I'll make a diss track on you. I'm like, oh no, man. Don't do it, bro. Don't drop the diss track. Now we gotta talk about the OF girl. Now, I mean, there is a fat bag right there. That is, that is a crazy bag. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just not worth it, bro. Your dating value goes way down. No one's ever gonna wanna date you. People are just gonna look at you as a piece of tar on the road, man. It's not worth it. As soon as they turn 18, they be signing up. Like, no second thoughts. No, like, huh, I don't know. Maybe this isn't a great idea. You don't even think about their future. Like, huh, I don't know. What if I want a job in the future? Yeah, it just it just doesn't click with them. Now, there's uh, not family-friendly photos of them on the internet for everyone to see. That is kind of crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie. And especially when technology gets more advanced, the digital footprint's about to be wild. But, of course, the simps are in the comments just donating away, gassing them up. And, obviously, they're just going to keep doing it. Like, the bag is right in front of them. They are practically just throwing money in a fire pit at this point. Um, hello. My name is Bartholomew. Could you please go on a date with me for 10k? That's all I ask. Thank you. With much love. Bartholomew. Paying 10k to go on a date is crazy, bro. Oh my. But for some reason, man, people will do it. No idea why. Like, how would the date go? So, uh, yeah, I've seen those videos. I really like them. Uh, thanks? Like, it's crazy how much money people are just blowing on OF. It's ridiculous. The oversharer. We all know this guy. This person will talk about anything and everything on the internet. They will share their entire life story and, like, write a paragraph. And his summary, bro, I ain't reading all that. You really think I'm about to waste, like, two minutes of my life reading that long paragraph you wrote for TikTok? Nah, I got better things to do, bro. Are you kidding me? But people subscribe to me, my channel, to hear me overshare about my life. That's kind of crazy to think about. I never thought about it like that. The keyboard warrior. Oh my god. Bro will be posted up in everybody's comment section just typing until he gets like carpal tunnel or something. And he will have an all out war with you just to prove that he's right. Well, according to my calculations, I sat through 1500 different animes. Naruto is the best anime. Personally, bro, I like One Piece better. Excuse me. What? What? You like One Piece? Naruto is about a master ninja in training to become the Hokage. Are you kidding me? How could you like an anime about pirates? That is ridiculous. They will get so mad over somebody else's opinion and they will write forever and ever about why they're wrong. Like if I think something different than somebody in the comments, I'm not gonna let that ruin my day, bro. That is crazy. Have they ever just indulged in grass? Like have they ever thought about that? I don't know. The Redditor, same deal. This dude doing anything to run up his karma. Like he will try to like shame you or make you look wrong just to get karma. I don't use Reddit. Reddit. But some people go on Reddit for like funny videos or whatever. And some people on Reddit like lurking the deepest, darkest corners are just absolutely nuts. Like some people really be just coming up with theories on Reddit too. Like bro, the Playboy Cardi subreddit, there were theories on when bro was gonna drop a new album. Like at this point, I've already just lost my faith. Like I don't think he's ever dropping again. Or, or maybe he will and it'll surprise me. D1 Prospect going right into S tier. The D1 Prospects at your school are literally the goats of sports. They're just on a whole nother level of athletic, dog. You hear where they go to college, where they're committing, because they actually got a chance to go pro. And you'll, oh, you'll know. You'll know where they're going, because they will be spread around the school. Stacy's going to LSU. John's going to Georgia. The work they put in cannot be ignored. They cooked up, and they earned it. And on the other side of the spectrum, where things aren't looking so bright, you got the gym class hero, and then the hallway athlete. Now, the gym class hero, you're going straight to F tier. Hallway athlete, probably a solid C tier, because it's kind of entertaining to see this kid like juke kids in the hallway hit him with a ooh shimmy real quick but the thing about the gym class hero is this kid thinks he's the d1 athlete but bro you're just in gym class what are you doing? And then these motherfuckers loaf around at practice, but they like go crazy in gym class, which makes no sense. Like this motherfucker will dunk on the goddamn emo kid in basketball. And now you have your normal 
run-of-the-mill athlete. We'll give them like a B tier. I mean, some of them are pretty douchey. They, they think they're high and mighty because they're on the football team. I might be biased on this one because, well, I was a football player myself, and I, I did not shove any kids in the fucking lockers. Maybe, maybe Nielsen. No, I'm just kidding. It really depends on their character for this one. There could be some douchey athletes, and there could be some douchey popular kids. The popular kids got the school in a chokehold. We'll give them like a C tier because it really depends on the character. I mean, some popular kids I talked to were pretty cool. Others, not so much. Some were just insanely entitled acting like they were the main character like bro this shit gonna end in four years this dude literally revisited his high school because his popularity and fame was over because he graduated and three months later he pulled back up to that bitch bro do not be this kid do not peak in high school if you decide to take the route of the popular kid do not value school clout and now someone who follows this script pretty well is the npc the npc is going in a tier bro just gets through the entire day and doesn't really say much doesn't really get involved too heavily, kind of on the lower level of popularity. They gotta just go home, chill, hang out with their friends. Sometimes they could get a little bit robot in terms of dialogue, but for the most part, they're pretty chill. The smart kid. That's GOAT right there. Oh my, above S tier. This dude will bless you with the homework answers. He's like the most clutch kid in the entire school. This kid will literally let you cheat off him during a test. He'll find a way because he's so smart. And this kid will help you with your goddamn homework if you, if you really want to. Like, he'll literally be... Khan Academy for you. Like, bro will be your personal tutor. Unlike the nerd where this kid will be like, I'm gonna need to apply these concepts yourself. Shut the fuck up. F tier. Bro's got a bit of an ego. He always thinks he's right. And if you dare to interact with the nerd, he will spark up some shitty debate with you. Well, Doc, I would help you with your math homework, but, but, but you gotta see where I'm coming from. Well, homework can actually help you reinforce your learning. <laughs> Much better. He'll be going on for decades about some topic you don't even care about. Now, it's usually within the class. You know, they'll, they'll spark up some boof-ass topic, and you'll have to talk about it for the entire class. Sometimes, I just feel like nerds can't be real humans. Sort of like the absent kid. It doesn't even exist. Like, does he even show up? I swear, these kids are just doing side quests. C tier. How can we even rank the absent kid? Like, this dude's really sacrificing his academics for a side quest. Hey, that's a real one. And the class clown, too. Also putting his academics on the line. Hey, if you're a class clown, bro, you're a W. You're going in A tier, because sometimes the class clown can miss if it's like a joke about ratios or something. Anything TikTok related, it's it's gonna miss. If you're a class clown, if you choose to go down this path, keep the humor relatable. And for God's sake, do not talk about ratios, or else you might just end up in below F tier. Now, you don't want to be in below F tier, because you'll be with the super seniors. <laughs> y'all belong in a federal prison. That's where y'all belong, bro. How are you hunting for freshmen as a fifth year senior? Or some of them are fifth year seniors. They're referred to as super seniors. This is 100% below F tier. This is getting the Ducks worst type badge. You do not want to go anywhere near this kid, especially if you're a freshman. Keep your <coughs> eyes peeled for the super senior and stay the hell away. Flee if you see that motherfucker. Where my hug at? Now this kid would always be talking talking to girls in the hallway every time every time you see him he, he'd be next to a different girl d tier he's going in d tier because he just comes off as so desperate so down bad for a crumb of poon now for me at my school it was mostly dudes that were like this but maybe you had a girl at your school like this i don't know but all i remember is having one girl at my school that was the pass around for the entire athletes and we called her the school thoughts that's right going straight to f tier that shit stank you could smell that shit in the classroom everyone would make jokes about how you'd smell that that poon in the classroom and it would smell like a tuna fish can an expired one she was just down bad for dudes and especially for dudes that were popular if you had a tiny bit of clout she would talk to you now she might even talk to the band kids now the band kids kind of just stayed in their own lane they, they kind of had their own little circle i mean at least at my school some of them were pretty chill so we'll give them like a c tier but jesus christ for the ones that be referencing memes all the time were so fucking annoying level five get at kaisen at 3 a.m <laughs> skibbity toilet Ohio, saucy among us imposter, big chungus. Is this dude just speaking in hieroglyphics? What the fuck's going on? Some band kids are just woof. Now I've seen so many comments saying there's a difference between a band kid and a kid in band. And that cannot be further from the truth. The SoundCloud rapper. Oh, now this kid thinks he gonna band make band it band out. Band He's band. making it out to school with this one, bro. Trust. Even though he just cooked up some ass. This dude will promote his album like he just went diamond, bro. I swear. He's like, yo, tap in right now. Tap in. Just dropped my new single. Check it out. Then you check it out and it's...
straight ass. If you're a SoundCloud rapper in high school, man, you got a lot of work to do. You gotta be locked in the stew at all times, bro. It's not just like, yeah, just be a little one and done thing. Like, at least it, they got a little entertainment value to their songs. Like, it's funny to laugh at. We'll give them a seat. And you'll hear about this kid's emerging career, trust me, and how he's gonna make it out the hood. And speaking of not making it out, teen parents, y'all fucked yourselves over. Why are you having a child in school and why are you going in raw, bro? What's going on? We'll give them a D tier. They, they just made the dumbest decision of their life and now they're going through school with it. They gotta pay the consequences and actual money for child support. The musty kid. This kid's smelly every day. Your nostrils just get fed up. F tier. I swear this kid goes like a week without showering. Like, I don't know what's going on with the musty kid, but bro, you gotta take a shower. Like, I'd be sitting on like completely on the other side of the room and I still would smell this kid, bro. And also, I would hear the hot Cheeto girl, bro. Probably a D tier. They, they're just like extremely loud. They usually sit in the back of the classroom and they be munching on some hot Cheetos or maybe like a bag of Takis. Like, okay, some spicy snacks are good, but like, goddamn, a seven in the board is kind of crazy, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like a seven in, seven the, in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, little Yachty said. Like, they be straight yapping at 7 a.m., bro. Like, I just got up, bro. Like, what the fuck? I just got here. It's like seven o'clock. Like, you know, I kind of wish I was more like you for real. Like, having mad energy at 7 a.m. would be crazy. Now, I, me, I was on the other side of that spectrum. I was the goddamn sleeper. I would sleep in, like, most of my classes. And we'll put the sleeper in, like, A tier. I mean, I might be a little biased. Hey, bro, catching up on them Zs, bro. What, what, how can you hate? But yeah, the sleeper will find any opportunity to just put their head down and just nap. Doesn't matter if they actually fall asleep or not. They just do it. And then I'd always be waking up in the days once the fucking bell rings. Like, huh? What happened? Oh, the late kid that's usually late didn't show up. That's what happened. I'm in college now, and I'm the fucking late kid. The late kid is either just lazy as fuck or using his time wisely. Late kids, he's getting the best yo, bag, yo, bro. Yo, that, that's dope. Yo. This kid's using every minute of their time to not be in class. Like, how can you not commend that, bro? Like, come on, go on. Give him a round of applause. He's coming in. Oh, oh, there he is. That's fucking goat right there. Hey, you the goat. I see you all trying to give the late kid the death stare. Do not disrespect the late kid. Like, come on. And the late kid would always be the most chill dude ever. You know, you'd have a pretty good shot of making a new friend. Unlike if you were to talk to the blue haired girl. F tier to the max, bro. They be getting offended over everything. Like, they let other people's words control their life. It's insane, bro. Like, they, they just feel like they have to get mad. Like, I already know after school what they be doing is sitting on Twitter all day and canceling any influencers that do anything slightly negative in their eyes. And then they stand some musical artists and are so biased beyond belief. Like you could say some shit like, I just gobbled up that hot dog, goddamn, no homo. Or you could say like, I got them him slash himothy pronouns. Never get fucking down. Even if you just troll the blue haired girl, mauled. The menace, A tier. I saw a menace kid run away from school one day and that shit was mad entertaining. The instigator, D tier. This dude's always looking for a fight and you already know he's recording on the phone saying world star. Like, and this dude's recording in the most boof bad quality ever on a Nokia phone. The quiet kid, B tier. Bro, don't even say anything. How can you hate? I know everyone says they carry the strap, but most of them don't have one. Like, come on. But the kid, to the kid that actually has the strap, this kid, that school threat is going in hell tier. No explanation needed for this one. And if you- I think it's best we start with a teacher that a lot of you definitely know. The teacher that's always mad. Oh my god, this motherfucker fuming 24-7. Like, I don't know who spit in his coffee this morning. Oh. And who was giving him mad wedgies back in the day. But this dude thinks he has so much authority over everybody else. He's basically known for taking advantage of his power. And it's crazy that they somehow hate kids, bro. You literally signed up for the job. It's crazy how these teachers have their midlife crisis so early. And you know why? Because their life is so fucking mid. These teachers getting slid in D tier. It's pretty entertaining to watch sometimes. Now let's move on to the dumb teacher. Who hired this person? I'm sorry, but like, what did you do to get through school? And these people are D1 at losing assignments. No matter what, bro, it's just somehow gonna get lost. And the worst part is, you get penalized for it. Why? Like, your dumbass was the one that lost the assignment. Why don't you get penalized? Why don't you get fired right about now? I remember one time this teacher lost a class assignment I did that was worth a lot of our grade. And of course, I got a zero on the assignment. She didn't even give me a chance to redo it, bro. F tier. Definitely gonna be one of the worst. Next, we got the teacher with an ego. Now, this person thinks they're all that in a bag of chips. Just because you graduated a school 
and now you're a professor at a college. That does not mean you're the shit, bro. Pipe down. And these are the same type of people to say, I'll wait before class starts. No one's gonna listen huh? to I'll wait. Like, I'm sorry. That just doesn't work. But yeah, this teacher going straight in the F tier, bro. That shit pisses me off. The teacher that no one listens to. Now you just gotta feel bad for this teacher. Like, I'm usually like a more chill person in school. I would just see all the commotion and chaos going down in my class, and I would just feel terrible for this person. Like, if I was in that same situation, I don't know how I would manage that. Now, these teachers are generally nice people, but they just get taken advantage of. For that, I'm gonna give them an A tier. And sometimes these teachers that no one listens to, they start crying. Yeah, we got the crier. This teacher just starts breaking down crying in front of the class. Okay, look, I feel a little bit bad, but like, dude, letting fucking middle school kids get to you is crazy. Then they usually give some sob story about, I come here every day just for you guys to be the worst class I've Shut the fuck. I feel kind of bad. Not really. So for that, they get C tier. The yapper. This dude cannot stop fucking talking. No matter what, in every class, there is always a time where this person always gets sidetracked. This dude will talk five minutes after class was supposed to end. He'll be like, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I went past the time. Like, bro, I had to sit five minutes past the bell to hear you yimmer and yammer about fucking nothing. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes they do come in clutch. Like, if I have to present or something and they take up too much time, it's perfect. So for that, the yapper gets a C tier here middle of the road i'm gonna keep it a buck i think we got our first s tier on our hands the baddie how is this teacher not a model like i don't understand bro she should be a vogue magazine or some shit why is she standing in front of a whiteboard looking like that bro she got me turning into nielsen real quick i'm gonna miss i could possibly stay after class to help you with any extra work oh yeah and about to change assignment i got that done in approximately five minutes but the baddie teacher is the only teacher that can slide when teachers get way too close Close, bro. Like, if it's a baddie teacher, hey, man, I'm totally fine with that. Like, some of these teachers be breathing in my face when they're trying to help me, or sometimes I get a 4K Ultra HD view of their cheeks. Like, why are they that fucking close? But if it's the baddie teacher, though? Shit, man, I'm not complaining. This one, probably C tier. It's slightly annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Next, we got the drippy teacher. Another S tier. This dude way too goaded. He got it on, bro. He got a bunch of W brands on. He got Nike, Adidas, even Bird Gang dot shit. Shop, which you should check out by the way link is in the description the designs are limited time only so go cop yourself one well, this dude will walk in with a nice fresh pair of jordans bro and he knows how to dress bro and of course we also got the opposite of the spectrum the teacher that doesn't know how to dress and they musty as shit yeah the musty teacher fucking sucks i swear sometimes these teachers be forgetting to take a shower like i don't really know what their deal is i'm sorry bro but how are you gonna go to school musty when the baddie teacher exists how can you do that if that was me, I would make sure my little middle part there, my balding head is spiffy. They're not annoying, but they smell really bad. So for that, D tier. I mean, I can deal with it. It's not terrible. Uh, actually, maybe not. The boring teacher. I mean, there's not too much to go over for this one. Like, he's really just boring as shit, and he just yaps on about nothing. He just somehow manages to get me to fall asleep every class. Welcome to the class. You need to know about the political and economic state of the world. In order to succeed in this class, you need to go to class, and you need to be paying attention. I don't know how his voice could get more monotone than that. Imagine if I spoke like that on my videos, y'all would be fucking clicking off in the first minute. I mean, sometimes this dude just doesn't care about, like, grading, so for that, I guess C. And speaking of not caring, we got the teacher that just does not give a fuck. When his day's over, he's clocked out. He's not responding to any emails. I mean, I wouldn't either, bro. Fuck that. And this guy just loves to dish out 80s. And low-key's a go for that, because I'm just trying to pass. So for that, he's going in the B tier. Now we got the teacher that just straight munches the entire class. Now this teacher is hit or miss. They could have a full course meal prepared by Gordon Ramsay himself on his desk and they'll be like, no, you can't eat. Like, bro, shut that. Like, come on, bro. Why can't I eat? Your face is pretty much fucking stuffed. Like, these teachers that pull up with a five-star meal, that's crazy. And then they say, you can't eat until lunch. But the lunch food is fucking dog shit. So by the time lunch rolls around, I'm miraculously not gonna be hungry anymore. After smelling whatever kind of slop that is. Now this one, it kind of depends if they don't let you eat fucking F tier and if they do I guess B they're not really causing any problems now sometimes these teachers be munching on donuts they be glazing for real these are the teachers that just will not stop meat riding the oh, oh. 
Oh, okay, never mind. Never. Now, basically, all these teachers do is they pick favorites. They give them good grades. They have them answer questions in class, etc. But my hand could be up for decades if I know the answer. Like, until it goddamn falls off. And they still wouldn't call on me. And the worst part of it all is, like, these teachers will just magically forget you did anything. But they'll remember when their favorites did something. Like, oh, yeah, this kid participates all the time. But you never do. Like, back in my heyday, I was an academic weapon. I mean, right now, no. No way. But in elementary school, I would remember the teacher would always... Always just fucking magically forget I exist. It was my fucking art teacher, and she was an absolute bitch. She basically favored girls over guys, and she would just shit on every dude's artwork. And at the same time, bro, we're in third grade. We're not exactly gonna be cooking up starry nights. But yeah, that reminds me of the teachers that have high oh expectations. God. Like, calm down, bro. We are not Harvard students. We're not exactly gonna be able to fully break down E equals MC squared, bro. We had Google our entire school careers, bro. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. Fuck, I forgot to rank the last one. I'm a dumbass. But both of these teachers are going in D tier. Now, this next teacher is a foul and a sinister teacher. And this teacher should be never let out the shadow realm ever again. The creep. Like, how does this teacher even exist, bro? Like, what the fuck? Like, instead of doing their job, these motherfuckers are trying to get 14-year-olds on Snapchat. Like, these dudes need to be sent straight to prison, bro. They belong with EDP in the cell. There was this one teacher at my school that was talking to students through Snapchat. And bro was saying some weird ass shit too and of course he got fired and is never coming back and i already knew there was something off about him just by looking at him and i would see him single out a few girls in particular that were in my classes and i was like yo what the fuck like he would literally just spawn in every time i was somewhere like near this girl it was so fucking weird bro this dude is below f bro like through the pits of hell this dude gets crowned as the worst type of teacher i could think of the teacher that sucks at grading yeah they give out so many guys goddamn assignments and they never get them back in time if you give out all these assignments then there should be a due date when we expect to get them back that's the craziest double standard i've ever seen d tier next up we got the cornball now this is the dude that tells like the worst fucking jokes of all time like this is the type of dude to say see you next year when we're going on christmas break or say i don't know can you when you ask to use the bathroom like, that's all his humor bro it's just straight up dad jokes like it's fucking trash now i know i'm not no kevin hart he's not no kevin hart and humor subjective so someone could be falling on the floor laughing at that one me personally i don't find it funny at all and i think it's just corny as shit now i get this guy's trying and all but i don't know i just don't think it's funny he's not a terrible dude in any way so i guess b tier but if he told better jokes then he would be up in s tier with the funny teacher this guy does not miss bro he's just like the class clown he's putting his job on the line to tell some funny ass jokes and i have mad respect for him. and he's helping us get through the school day bro Seven hours is rough without my boy. Like, just being there in itself already sucks, but thankfully, he's just gonna clutch up and make it better. And this one is getting Birdie's best type of teacher. The teacher that never shows up. C tier, I guess? I don't know. This dude's pretty much non-existent, so I don't know what to say about him. But of course... There needs to be a hero to fill in this spot. There needs to be somebody, an individual who goes out of his way and takes the duty of being the teacher. The substitute teacher. This one's either hit or miss, I'm not gonna lie. But the substitute teacher can fall under many different types. Like that one chill sub that just doesn't care is amazing, bro. Like you could just do whatever the hell you want in class. The lock-in on cool math games was insane to another level, bro. Run three was my goat back in the day. And you know what, man? Fuck it. It still is my go. It's getting me through college. I'm not gonna lie, bro. But the substitute teacher that thinks he owns the place? Fucking F, dude. Like, that guy sucks. Like, no, bro. You do not hold any authority at this school whatsoever. Stop acting like you're him, bro, because you're not. The teacher that plays videos. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? I came here to learn. Uh, apparently. I don't know. I, I didn't want to go here in the first place. But I go just to watch a video that I could have watched at home? Like, dude, what sense does that make? This motherfucker talk about a flipped classroom. Get the hell out of here. You're just letting Sal from Khan Academy take your job at this point. Whenever I had one of these teachers, man, yeah, I, I would have to use Khan Academy to teach myself because this motherfucker wasn't teaching shit. And then he has the audacity to say, what did we learn from Sal? Motherfucker, what did we learn from you? Nothing. Now, I mean, they were a pretty easy 
easy grader, but this was just kind of slightly annoying, so B tier, I guess. They weren't really a bad person, they just fucking sucked ass at teaching. The snitch. Oh my god. This is the teacher that if they catch you in the hallway or if they catch you in the bathroom doing some, uh, substances, they will definitely do everything in their power to get you expelled. Like, look, man, it's not that serious. I get they're just doing their job by sending them to the office, but, like, doing everything in your power to get them expelled is crazy. Or if something minor happens, like if you get caught skipping class, bro, it's not that deep. And they're over here acting like you just committed a felony. Yeah, this one's definitely going in the F tier, for sure. Then we got the teacher that mispronounces names. Now, this one's just comical. I don't know. I just had to put it on the list. Now, there's nothing wrong with bro, but like, this dude mispronounces like the easiest names, bro. This dude will find a way to mispronounce John Smith. Like, that's as simple as it fucking gets, dude. But I mean, bro's going in the A tier. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him, to be honest with you. But Leo. Now, let's talk about the simp. The simp is closeted, all right? He ain't telling anybody that he's a simp. He doesn't want anybody to know. And eventually, if one of your homies is a simp, you're gonna find out. Like, these dudes be so down bad for TikTok girls and Instagram models. Like, they literally just DM them every day. Like, please go out with me, baby, please. Like, you really think that's gonna work, low, bro? Like, 50 other different people didn't try that shit already? Ready? These creators receive thousands of DMs on a daily basis. And what is the likelihood that they're even gonna see that? Like some dudes really be asking for like feet pics and other shit like like they really be next level discord moderators. Like bro, you're just weird. Why do you even try anymore? Next up we got the internet thug. Now, this is the dude that tries to act tough and all hard on the internet. Pause. This is the type of dude to throw gang signs in his picture, wear do-rags, and carry a fake gun around his waist. He's from the middle of the goddamn suburbs, and he's saying all this tough shit. Like, he'll make some song like, Yo, bro, I'm ready, I'm ready. Turn me up, turn me up. I get the chops on me with extension. Yeah. These odds they won't even hop on my mission. I can't even see my body. He up in the pit, yeah. He's gonna spit on the block and shoot him up again, bam. Bro, didn't I see you at church today? No, 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 we don't talk about that. We don't. Next up, we got the flexor. Now, the flexor, everybody knows this dude. He's always trying to get like some kind of crazy flick on his story or whatever the hell. Like, he's the type of dude to sit on somebody's Lambo and just take a picture with it and say it's his. Like, bro, you don't even gotta say nothing. We already know that it's rented or it's somebody else's. Like, if I see you post it up on a Lamborghini, chances are, bro, you running up pennies, bro. You are not big balling. I don't know what it is with people who feel like they need to show off the fact that they have money even though they really don't like the people who do show things off yeah chances are they don't have money and these people are blowing all their money to get these expensive things that they're showing off like dog i don't need to see your yeezy red octobers i know you just blew 17k on them and that was your entire bank account so good riddance to your fucking wallet next up we got the discord mod you know as i was speaking of earlier we had those down bad dudes now discord mod goes hand in hand with the down bad dudes except this guy thinks he has like a lot of authority in the discord server just because he's a moderator like this dude really thinks he's a powerful being just because he's sitting on his computer and muting people even though in reality you're musty take a shower you stink crack a window bro your room stinks you're stinking it up like this dude really needs some febreze for every fat roll on his body it's crazy some people are given mod privilege and they're kind of just like oh whatever that's cool and they kind of just chill but there's always that guy that thinks he has so much power and he's a sweaty neck beard just because he has fucking discord mod access like it's really sad that that's people's entire lives like how are you gonna live your life like that discord mods don't get paid by the hour they doing that shit for free so go find a job i already know sitting on your ass 24 7 is not gonna pay the bills next up we got the um actually guy now this dude is the type of guy to say um actually you used the wrong your or we'll take the most minute detail of the video and be like and that was factually incorrect he'll type up a whole paragraph just trying to make you look like a dumbass like, hey, man, that's not the point I'm trying to get across. Like, why do you even care? Why are you focusing on the most minute detail of all time? And I'm not trying to have a comment more with a nerd. Like, no, thank you. Like, I'd much rather just laugh at the comment and move on with my day. I'd much rather walk outside, get some fresh air, because we are truly living in a beautiful world out there. And it's nothing that these next people have experienced. The commenter. These are the people that are, like, always having wars with people online. The world is so much bigger and better than fighting with one person on Twitter. I'm pretty sure you could just 
put your phone down for a second and just enjoy the outdoors instead of beefing with people on Twitter. Like, bro, why do you care what this dude unhinged mountain thinks about you? And honestly, I used to get all wrapped up in hate comments and shit and, and like respond to people like, and that's just what they're looking for. They're looking for you to have some kind of reaction. And this next one, you got to be aware of that. The bully. All right. You don't know what this guy's going to say. He could say some really mean shit and hey, well, you just got to put up with it because he's on the other side of the screen. You can't get you get back. You can reply back, but that's only going to give him what he wants. And this goes for game chat on video games. Like there's always that one dude that just be talking shit in the game chat. Yo, bro, who is this guy? B Beardy? B Bird? You're trash, bro. Hey, bro, I shut your mouth. He got like two kills right now. Oh, yeah, bro. After this, let's 1v1. We'll, we'll see who's truly better. Oh, no, scope your ass. Get on rust, you little piece of shit. And if I got involved, like that dude could know somebody that's able to pull IP addresses that has like greasy ass fingers, greasy hair. Like I'm, I'm not trying to get involved. Honestly, it's just better for your own safety too. Next up, we got the mindless consumer. Now this one used to be me. Like I used to just go on TikTok and scroll for hours. Not even kidding. Like I was actually a bot. I would scroll on there for hours in my college dorm room. And then one day I just suddenly realized, wait, what am I getting out of this? I'm literally just feeding myself content that makes me feel like shit. Why am I even watching this? And I'm like, all right, you know what? Time to delete this shitty app. Why am I even fucking on here? And you know, I've said multiple times on this channel that TikTok is probably the worst social media app. It starts dookie trends and it should be banned. And I will die on that hill. I don't care what anybody says. I could have took a trip to every place in the world, came back, and my ass still would be on TikTok when I get back. Now we got the person who posts everything about their life. Everyone has someone that they follow on their social media like this. This dude always just live streams the most irrelevant shit ever. Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, just about to pour some cereal in a bowl and eat it. Then I got my homie Frank over there. Frank, yo, let's say, say what's up to the chat. Yo, uh, what's up, chat? Frank, bro, 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 tell the chat what we're doing tonight. We're going in the city out to- Chat, you're gonna want to stick around because this isn't gonna be an insane live stream. No, it's not, bro. Just shut- Like, he really be posting himself getting ready in the morning, his breakfast, his lunch, fucking everything. This guy does not get off social media, ever. This dude is permanently living on his Instagram page. And if that were me in that scenario, I would want some privacy. Like, I don't want to show everybody what I'm doing at every moment. Like, like me personally, I would never. Next up, we got the clout demon, the menace, whatever you want to call this person. Now, this person will do just about anything for a drop of clout on the internet. Like, if you give this guy a camera, you're screwed. Let's just say that. He's gonna walk around terrorizing the city and shit, or just, like, putting himself through harm, or just just anything that he would wouldn't do off camera and just because there's a camera in front of him and the possibility of numbers he's doing it because he's a brick and has no brain cells i mean what else am I supposed to say? Like a good example of this is the the lick trend where people would just steal shit from the bathroom. Like no normal person would just take soap dispensers from the bathroom. And if there wasn't that one dumbass that just did it in front of everybody on TikTok, the trend would have never happened. Like why do the most for Cloud, bro? You're not going to get a fan base that. Because then they're going to expect you to do crazier and crazier shit every time. By doing that, you're just screwing yourself over in the long run. Now we got the stan. Oh my god. Now this is the person that will obsess over anybody or anything. Now their profile picture is most likely that thing that they're obsessing over. They look at that person and just idolize them like they're the next coming of Christ and they can do no wrong. People really got a bunch of pictures of Jug Coop on their wall, dream bed sheets or whatever the hell. Like bro, you gotta look in the mirror and be like, damn, I'm really obsessing over a person that most likely has no clue that I exist at all. What the hell am I doing with my life? Instead, you should put that time and energy into something that you like doing with your life. I don't know, playing baseball, hitting dingers. Like, I'm sure your parents will be proud of you if you're hitting dingers. I don't think they'd be very ecstatic if they walk into your room and see a goddamn dream bed sheet. They're just gonna look at you and be like, what the hell? Next time we got the preacher. Now, this one is hit or miss. Like, some people just be preaching about the dumbest shit ever. Like, you don't even know what the hell they're talking. Sometimes people just be saying the dumbest shit. That makes absolutely no sense. And people still eat it up anyway. Like, they don't even think for themselves sometimes. Like, they don't even try to put the pieces together. They kind of just do and say whatever the hell that person tells them. Like, some people really just be meat riding Andrew Tate and say, say that, like, everything he says is correct. And he's just a god amongst all men. Like, it's just really fucking weird. And it's crazy because they just don't even think for themselves. They're just operating based on what Andrew Tate says. Next up, we got that person who's trying to sell that za on the internet. They're trying to be the internet plug. Like, this dude just be showing off his bud 24-7. Like, every time I would 
open this dude's story, boom, a picture of that Zob would pop up. And sometimes you can't even open a story by choice on Snapchat. It will just open it for you, which is just really annoying. And I'm not trying to see some dude selling Za my stories. Most likely if he's posting it on his Snapchat story, he has no buyers and his shit is ass. So why would you even want to buy it in the first place? The internet plug is just not where it's at. You just got to really trust the person. I mean, I'm not much of a smoker, so I really don't know. But yeah, that's people on the internet for you in a nutshell. Thank you guys for such a great 2023. I really appreciate every single one of you. you guys have changed my life so much. So to celebrate 2023, I had to put every single types of video together. And 2024 about to be even crazier, bro, because now I'm doing YouTube full time. Now I got a lot more time to lock in and really improve the content for you guys. So here's to a better 2024. Thank you all so much.